Hey there, Falcon Code Commandos. This video is a short one that's going to show you how you can change background colors, format text, and um, change the shapes of buttons on your app, on your Build a Body app. So settle in and uh, you can format your app the way you want it to look. Make it yours. Here we go. Build a body app file loaded. You can see I have my canvas. I've got my four dots, my placement sprites, and I have each of the organ systems laid out. I have also, per the instructions, I have added a score label. You can see I have it right here. This is a text label where the score is going to appear. I have also added a reset button. And you can see I've put that arrange, I've put it in a horizontal arrangement down below um, the canvas with the body outline on it. Notice something else in the components menu here. I have not just, say, it doesn't just say horizontal, horizontal arrangement number two and horizontal arrangement number one. I've given them names. This is the score arrangement because this is the area where I'm putting that score label. This is my button arrangement because that's where I'm putting my buttons in. It's very smart to label these arrangements with what goes inside them. It helps you keep track. And especially when you're in the code blocks view, when you cannot see that picture and that image of the screen, it helps you find these things when you want to pull code out. Here, I have also added something, a solution button. Remember, you're going to have to add one of four things, either that solution screen or the pop-up menus that describe the organs, a timer, by the way, if you add a timer, you're going to need to add a label for the timer, or you're gonna have the score subtract one for each wrong placement. Make sure you've added either the button or the label that will support the choice that you made there. Now we're gonna look over here at our components and by selecting the components, we can change their appearance over here in the properties menu. Let's start by editing the background color. If I wanna make this my own, if I wanna change its appearance, what I will start with maybe is the background color. Let's say I want a nice purple color. I'm gonna start right at the top with the screen, screen one. And you'll notice when I change these, when I click different parts of my app, I'm gonna get different options here in the properties menu. If I click on screen one, now I can see what my options are here. And there's actually quite a few of them that go with that screen. And I want the background color right here. It says default. If I click that, I can choose none or I've got a selection of colors here, which is pretty cool. Or if that is not what I'm looking for, I want a stat for just right purple color. Well, then I can go and click custom and I can select a color here in this uh, rainbow grid. If I click on an area, it'll let me choose a color. There's a nice purple. I can tint it and make it darker by adding black there, or I can, make, I can adjust its transparency. I can make it partially show or completely show things that are behind it. Now here's uh, what, I, if I want it lighter, I can just drag this dot down. I can drag this little dot around till I get the color just where I like it. And then I click done. Now here's a pro tip. Click up here where it shows you the code for the color. Highlight it, control C, copy. I'll show you how this is handy in just a second here. Click done. Now you can see the background, the screen is colored purple, but wait a minute, it's not purple around my buttons. It's not purple around my score or my canvas. That's because all we did was change the background of the screen. We have to go 
and change the background of our arrangements. And that's why it's handy to copy that code because then you don't have to drag and match it. You can just simply click here, click custom, highlight, paste in the code and click done. Now it all matches exactly. Now, I have colored these buttons. If I click on the button, here's my reset button. I type my text in down here, and then I can choose whether I want the font bold, whether I want it italic. I can choose the font size if I want it bigger. It will become bigger. Uh, I liked it at 16, I think. If I want my font to be, um, I can change the height of the button or the width of the button. I can put an image behind uh, my button. I can also change the shape. I can make it a rectangle where it just fills a rectangle. I can make it rounded, sort of a capsule shape, or uh, I can make it an oval or an ellipse shaped button. So you have that control over the shape of your buttons. I think I like the rounded for this app. You can align the text left, right, or center. And of course you can change the text color if you want to also. This is what I would like you to do. I would like you to format the buttons and the background uh, in a way that makes it yours and a way you think uh, works for your game. 